it may be possible that you are working with the larger excel sheet like this maybe you work with this much of big data set or even larger data set than this but what if out of this entire data set if you want to extract only this column or if you want to extract only this row or you want to extract only this much of data set a specific data set from the entire excel sheet from the huge data so how to extract those data for your working that is what we are going to learn in this video now we'll learn how to extract a specific set of data from this excel sheet to our specific variable so first let's import this excel to our matlab just remember this thing that the name of our excel sheet is data right and now let's jump to the matlab and here we have imported that entire excel sheet and you can see here it is available in workspace double click it and it will open now for time being uh, let's uh, make it smaller so that we can see this entire data set so this is our entire excel sheet so now we are going to work with this data set but first thing if you don't know how to import excel sheet into matlab or if you don't know how to import multiple excel sheet into matlab then you can refer my another video the link will be in description and here in i button so that's very important and interesting video you can watch that later on right now focus here once we have the entire data in our matlab now how to extract the specific set of data now from this entire data set what if you want to extract this column number 3 the all data available in column 3 so what we'll do we'll make a variable we'll call it as aa is equal to first we locate the location of data where is that data so that data is a part of data variable so we'll notify it as data then dot that means now we'll go further deep into that data what we want to extract in that data one variable is named as data3 so we want to extract all the elements from that variable data3 so we'll write it here as data3 and enter so there we go we have all the elements available in data3 variable so what we did here we have just extracted entire column or we can call it as we have just extracted entire variable from that data set now let's remove this now what if you want to uh, extract this entire row for that we'll make another variable bb is equal to whatever data we want to extract that data is part of which entire data set that is the part of data set the name is data then into bracket what we want to extract we want to extract entire second row so row number two and what are the other elements the other elements are row two and all the elements from all the columns so for all the columns we'll make it colon bracket over and run so here you can see we have row number two and all the columns previously we have extracted this data3 variable into aa and the method that we have used is like this so this is how previously we have extracted the data3 variable there is another way to extract the same data and that way is let's make a variable cc is equal to data and what do we want we want entire column number three so the elements the location of elements are all the rows and column number three so for all the rows we'll use colon and column number three it's three 
let's run so this is another way how you can extract entire column now we'll go for a specific set of data for example you want to extract only this much of data from column number 4 right so it's from row 6 to row 10 you want to extract only this much of data from this column number 4 so how to extract that let's learn that thing for example um, we'll make a variable name as dd and now we want to go for row number 6 to row number 10 so here you need to write 6 gem 10 or 6 colon 10 that shows that specific location of rows which data you want to extract so it starts from row number 6 and goes up to row number 10 then colon which columns data you want it's column number 4 so 4 here bracket over and run so you can see here we have got the specific set of data from that entire data set now let's see what if you want to extract a specific multiple data set like this a sub matrix you want to extract from this entire table so now let's make another variable name it as ff and then we'll name the data set which is data first we'll specify row it's from 6 to 11 so row 6 to 11 comma column 6 to 8 so 6 6 to 8 bracket over and there we go so this is how you can extract a specific set of data from the entire excel sheet now i'm giving you a short tutorial to practice just do that practice and then let me know that have you did it properly or not the tutorial is you need to extract entire row 18 and 19 right so this is what you need to extract from this excel sheet i'll share this excel sheet with you the link will be in description box below and using that excel sheet you need to perform this tutorial if you want to discuss anything with me on matlab then you can join me on my telegram channel or if you want to make any matlab project coding or simulation then you can discuss it with me on my telegram channel and then we can work out on that thing for more learnings on matlab you can check out this playlist from my channel so until we meet again on our next video till the time bye bye